Hey, this is Les from Comfortable Shoes Studio, and this is art making number 27 foam pattern plates for printing. Uh, so in this video, I am making plates for printing out of old meat trays or veggie trays. What you, you can get these foam trays with food on them at the grocery store. Ours came with um, meat and apples. Uh, our grocery store does a lot of apples on these things. To cut them and get clean edges, if clean edges are important to you, you will need a very, very sharp click knife or craft knife. Um, exacto blades work, but you'll just need a very, very sharp blade. Otherwise, the cut comes off a little ragged. So I'm just demonstrating cutting them here. You'll also need a ballpoint pen um, in a tip size of your choice. I find a medium or bold tip works best. When the tips are super fine, it tends to cut down into the foam rather than compressing it. So what you're doing here is compressing the foam down. You don't really want to cut it so much with the tip of your pen so much as compress it. So these plates will make a really imperfect print. You're not going to get perfect prints from these. You get darn good prints, but you're, they're not going to be perfect. So in this case, I'm just demonstrating in real time a quick skull because I do skulls all the time and I like reprinting them quite often. I'm also shooting with a new camera. This is a Wolfang GA300. Hopefully it's a little more clear. I notice a little graininess in the shadows. So you just need a another light, I think. But I'm pretty happy with it. And the clearness of the video and the color looks better than with my Canon. So go figure. Um, so anyway, the pen is just compressing down. And I go over each line a couple of times. So... I'm not trying to compress the foam down entirely. That's not necessary. What I am trying to do is compress it in sort of stages. You want it pressed down pretty deeply, but it doesn't have to be through the whole thing. You can use a pretty light hand with this foam and get a pretty good impression later. So I make a few of these in this video and different, I use a couple of different colors of the, the, the foam, um, the meat trays, and they all work really great. So there's a skull. Here's a yellow one. This yellow orangey color is a little stiffer than the white um, and seems to be a little harder to cut details or push details into. So yeah, so these these just they're super easy to make. Um, you can get all kinds of nifty details into it. I'm doing a spiral pattern here, and you can print these in a couple of ways. You can roll onto them with printing ink. Um, I would stay away from really traditional oil-based inks. I'm pretty sure that might melt the foam. Uh, but a soy-based ink uh, would work fine on this. So um, like the Speedball Professionals or even the Speedball for Fabric. Um, those are both soybean-based, soybean oil-based soybean oil inks that are water washable. So I think the foam would respond just fine to them. Um, another way, so you would roll the ink out. I'm, I'm going to show this in the next video. I'm going to show how to use these. This is video is all about the making of them. Um, and then the other way of printing these is to either roll acrylic paint onto them and then get a pretty good impression so long as you're using a slow drying acrylic paint. Uh, the other way you can print, you can roll out paint onto a jelly plate and then drop one of these onto the jelly plate, pull it off, and end up with leaving behind a bit of an impression. It does not pull the ink off or the paint off the plate as well as say paper or um like a matte board version of this and i'm gonna i'm gonna show a matte board version of this same thing you can do the almost the exact same thing with matte board but let me give it away right here um 
you don't press into the matte board quite as deeply as you do, but again, you don't need a deep impression. You don't need to emboss deeply to get something that's going to work well. So in this case, I'm using a Pilot Acroball. Is that an Acroball? I probably should have checked that. It is a Pilot, um, and now I can't find it on my desk. Um, it is a Pilot pen, I believe. It might be a pen towel. It looks like a pen towel. Anyway, I'm using a ballpoint pen that's super smooth. This one is a bold point because I wanted bold lines. I didn't want thin, narrow lines. I find Bic crystals work really well for this. Um, not the extra fine, the, the extra bold work really well. It gives you a super fat line. The Paper Mate uh, Ink Joy ballpoint pens also work pretty well if you get a medium or bold point. I think if you were careful, you could use a fine point pen, um, but I think it would be a lot more work, and I think you'd end up going over your lines more times. You'll notice here in this video that I am not just drawing a line, and that's it. I go over it once, twice, and sometimes a third and fourth time, getting that line. Yeah, see that one? I'm, I'm going over three times and then I went, you know, back over parts of it a fourth time. So now I'm just doing some uh, simple lines. This is one of my favorite uh, texture techniques because first off, these, these trays are recycled um, and therefore free after purchase and I like to reuse them you know I can I could I could make a hundred of these and end up with a lot of really great stuff some more lines So here I'm pressing hard, and you can't see it right now, um, but that does tend to lead to sort of a smoosh down at the edges, which I, I was kind of looking for in this. I wanted more rounded edges around the areas where the lines crossed over one another. I was really looking for imperfection here. Perfect is boring. Imperfect tells a story. So this was about a 20 minute session of making these plates. And uh, yeah, it was pretty relaxing. I enjoyed this. There's something super tactile about this kind of thing. And uh, hopefully you found this enjoyable or helpful and you can uh, test out making some of these texture plates on your own and enjoy making them. So, um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here on the channel. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit, uh, like the like the video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Um, I'll make it awkward and say if you really enjoy what I do, head on over to my Kofi account linked in the description and buy me a coffee. And thank you. And you know, of course, you can share the video with people you know. Thanks and bye. See you next time.